Hello, I'm Dragos, and in this video we're gonna compare the most known VPS provider out there, DigitalOcean, Vulture and uh, Hesner. The last one is uh, a more budget one that I like a lot because I'm not seeing the website on, on there. So we're gonna compare uh, the VPS benchmark on some of their services uh, and we're gonna see how exactly it's doing and uh, which one is the best one that we can uh, use to, to host our WordPress website or our web application. I have my cat here with, uh, with me that will uh, help me do all of these uh, tests. So uh, please don't uh, forget to subscribe and like the video if you, if you enjoy what you are seeing in, in here. So let's go and see exactly what we're going to test and what are the resources for all of these uh, VPS services out there. Written here an article with all of these tests where we'll compare DigitalOcean, Vulture and uh, Hesner to see the exact results. So in this area you will find uh, all the pictures with all the tests. But uh, in this video we're just going to, to go fastly through, through them and see exactly what are the results for each services and which one is the best for, for you. So I have created in here a couple of servers. This is Hesner where I've created uh, two servers. I've created one server that has two CPUs and two gigabytes of, of RAM. This is the smallest one. The servers are in the same location. And uh, I've created another one that has four CPUs and eight gigabytes of RAM that is more uh, in, in par with what the, the other services are, uh, are providing. In, terms of, of price. This one we're gonna check at the end to see exactly how it's doing. So this is for Hesner, it only has an AMD and uh, yeah I've created the uh, in Ashburn area. Uh, in here we have like the digital ocean and here I've created two droplets with two virtual CPUs and two gigabytes of RAM just the same as the Hesner. One this is the premium one so when you hit create a droplet, you'll be prompted to choose from uh, from a list. And uh, these servers were created in New York, uh, and they have like Ubuntu 22.04. All of these servers have the same thing. This is the basic configuration with the premium Intel and premium AMD, and the price is about twenty one dollars for for each. You see here. So yeah, these are the DigitalOcean droplets that. Are used for for test you see that i've created them yesterday and i've already tested them we're gonna check the article to see the results directly there and there for vulture i've created three you see it's in still in new york uh, in new new jersey is a data center and in here you have the same two gigabytes of uh, ram to cpus you have like the emd one which is the high performance you have the intel one that is high performance and uh, you have the High frequency one Intel that uh, Vulture is offering. If you want to create one, you will see in here the, the options and the price. So I've chosen the cloud compute option, and in here you have the EMD high performance, Intel high performance, Intel high frequency. So yeah, I've chosen the New York uh, data center, and the, the price for this this one it's. Uh, let me check it's. 18 a month. You see here the uh, VPS that has to be sent to gigabytes of RAM. It has the 18 price. So the cheapest of all is the Hesnet one that it's about uh, five uh, five point five dollars a month. It's affordable one. You see here in this area if you choose the Ashburn and in here if we choose the the shape. This is the smallest one that you can choose from. You have like four euros and a half without an IP, and with the IP before you have the five euros point something for this. So the servers are already created. So to test them, I have chosen to use the yaps.sh. This is a benchmarking tool that will test the CPU, it will test the read write speed, it will test the network and the 
memory. Sorry, not the memory, but uh, here, uh, the CPU. We'll see the results. Then I will use the ben, WordPress ben, Benmar plugin that will test the WordPress Benmar installation. Here you'll test the CPU and memory, the file system, database, and the network, and it will offer a note for all these things. So uh, yeah, this is the second test. Other tests that I've done is to run the speed test tools in uh, uh, the Google one and the GT metrics one. So we can see how fast this, uh, these websites are loading. I've installed WordPress in all of these uh, servers. I'm using Cloud Panel for this hosting uh, and uh, it has the default configuration. I didn't activate any, any caching plugin. Just installed the team and importing the demo demo content there for, for a team. Uh, we don't have any any CDN. All of these are configured to, to go through Cloudflare, and I deactivated the Cloudflare on, on, on them. In here you have all the, the details about about this. So let's go and check the test course and see what is happening. So first one it's Hesner. That is the budget one in here. You see the CPU details and the memory for, for this, also the operating system on kernel. And in here, like you see like the lowest score is for the 4K block size. This is like, uh, I guess the relevant one because it's usually you read and write more files. And yeah, you see here, like it has like about uh, one, 144 megabytes per per second, and the speed increases with the other, with the other, uh, with the other uh, block sizes. Here, the speed it's tested. You have like 10 gigabytes interface in here, and in function of the location, uh, you see the the speed that it is sent and received in in here. These are quite good speeds. Again, we have here the. CPU speed for the single core, it's about uh, 1,000 points and uh, 1,863 for multi-core. multi, multi -core. For a budget VPN, this is quite good. Next, I did the same on the digital ocean. And in here, we can, we can see, for instance, this is the AMD one. You see the details in here, the premium AMD one. Uh, you see that the read and write speed for the 4K are lower, also for the others. The, the the network speed it's quite uh, it's quite quite good similar with what we see in Hesner also in here we have the single core that is lower than Hesner it, like 600 and it's double for the multi core this is not that fast then I've tested the Intel one and in here you can see the Intel premium one you see the clock speed in in here and in here you see that the Read and write speed are better uh, even than Hesner. They are quite good uh, read and write speed. The network, again, it's quite good. It's compared with the others. And the CPU in here, you see like for the single core, it has like 1000, but for the multi-core, it just added 100. I don't know why, what is happening there, but yeah, this is the, these are the, the results. In comparison with Hesner, this is only having like the read and write speed, it's, it's better in the digital ocean. Now let's go and see Val Vulture. I've used this uh, all of this VPS in, in the past. Now I'm on Hesner, so uh, I'm familiar with them and what they have to offer. In here you see the MD on uh, Vulture. You see in here that it has very good uh, read and write speeds. Uh, the ones for the bigger sizes, bigger block size are not that good. You see in here. It's barely reaching one gigabyte, which uh, yeah the others were doing. The speed it's uh, in par with what I see in the other VPS is in here. The the value for the CPU it's uh, decent. Yeah, it's about seven um, eight hundred for single core, multi core. It's about uh, one uh, one thousand four hundred. So this thing uh, right now uh, for if you want you're looking for an AMD server then uh, 
the best, I guess, it will be Hazem because it has the lowest price. Now we'll move to the Vulture, high performance in here, and in here you see like the read and write speed are, are very good. And uh, yeah, it, uh, it basically are the, the best. Once the network is also better than what we've seen in, in, in others, you see here like you have results of about above two gigabytes. And the CPU in here, it's very good. You see like you have like about 1000, 1080 for the, for the multi-core. So these are very good speeds. And they have other Intel high frequency one that has higher clock speeds. You see here, this one had about 300, uh, 3000 megahertz. And this one, it has about uh, 3.7 Okay, mega megahertz. So you see in here that the read and the write speed uh, for the 4K it's uh, bad is the best one, but again for the others is not that good for the high uh, high ones. Uh, in here you see that the network speed it's again very good, and in here you see the best uh, single and multi-core results. So basically, this is the best uh, best VPS server that you. you can, can buy in this price point. So if you're looking for the, the best one, then uh, the Vulture High Frequency is offering the, the best CPU and uh, good write speeds for uh, for the 4K block. Then you, you have Hazen, which is in second place. It, it has decent speeds everywhere. And then you have DigitalOcean that it doesn't do that good from my, from my point of view. Of you. I have also created a table in, in, in here where I have included all of this all of these tests to see exactly what, what is happening. You see here as now it's in second place and this is the this is the best uh, one that uh, it's out there. Next thing that uh, we're gonna check it's the WordPress benchmark. So, uh, yeah, there is the a plugin that is testing all of these things. First test it's for Hasner. In here, you see like you have the CPU and memory test that uh, it's uh, graded with seven and a half, about about seven and a half. The file system in here, you see, it has very good uh, speeds. It's in here, you see the write up uh, write uh, speed and the uh, access speed and things like that. And you have like uh, about one gigabyte in this test and you have very good nodes. And in here you have the database and yeah, in, with the database you have about, uh, you have about, uh, above eight uh, grades. The network is, is very good. And you see here from the test that they have for the network, it's about, uh, 690 megabytes per, per second. So the overall load is 8.1. In here you have other things like the time to first bit and things things like that. Uh, this is uh, done with the same thing that is installed everywhere. So you see the size like it will be the same everywhere because you are reading the same same thing. So has has very good speed and it's almost nine for for a server. Uh, imagine that this is uh, like $5.5 VPS and that can help you host multiple websites without an issue. And it has very good very good speeds. Next, I will go and test the DigitalOcean. And in here in the uh, Ocean, we have the AMD one. In here you have like the CPU, which uh, was not that great. Also in the ben benchmark tools, you see that you have the you have the lower scores, it's above seven in here, the file system again, it's slower than Hesner one, the database, it, it isn't very good. You see it, it has like very low uh, nodes and the network, it's, it's okay. And uh, the final score, it's 7.9. This is not bad, but uh, the others are doing much, much, much better. So next we're gonna see the Intel in DigitalOcean. And in here you see like it's doing better than the EMD one, but it's not doing better than the 
there's no one which is cheaper imagine that you need to pay 21 dollars for this for these things and here you see that the write speed are are, are, are better than the amd1 cpu it slides slightly better networking is okay and in the end you have like 8.6 great so yeah this is how this revolution is doing now i did the same test for vulture and in here you will see the EMD test. Yeah, in here you see like this is this this is notes for the EM, EMD one. You see that the file system again it has about one megabytes per second for everything. Uh, one thousand megabytes per second for everything. The database has very good uh, notes in, in here network. Again, it's 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 good, decent. In, in here we have like two. 268 from the servers where these tests are, are done. You see here the time to first bit, it's a little higher, or no, it's the same like the others. So, overall, you have a very good note, it's 8.4 for the EMD one. But yeah, right now we move to the Intel high performance, and here you will see like better notes than for the others. You see in here that you have like but around eight for the CPU, so the CPU is doing a very, pretty good job. File system again, uh, it's doing a pretty good job, and because of the CPU and the nodes, you see here like the database, it's the database queries, it's doing a very good job. You see like uh, if you import things, you have almost ten. If you do simple queries, it's ten. If you do complex database queries, it's about eight. The network, it's it's very good. So the the overall note it's nine nine point one. So we have a intensive uh, database uh, application or WordPress. Then this will do a very good good job at eighteen dollars for this. Then you have the Intel High Frequency, which which had the um, highest uh, CPU. In here you see like you have grades about eight. It's uh, almost nine for the CPU, which is very good. Again, this offer the best CPU nodes in the test that we did in the VPS benchmark. Again, the file system is very good. You have nine above everywhere. Again, for the database, is doing a little better than the, the other, the, the other one from Vulture that is has the high performance. So overall, you have the nine point three node. I've also including all of this in in this table. You see the VPN benchmark nodes. Like the lowest one is the EMD from DigitalOcean. Uh, Hesner has 8.9. So Val Vulture it's having 8 everywhere, and the Intel one are very good, very good uh, ones, very good notes. So yeah, this is the, the test done with the with the WordPress benchmark plugin. Other things that I've tested is the WordPress P test. So I've installed uh, WordPress everywhere, and I've uh, uh, install Cadence Channel Team and in here I've done a GT metrics and page speed score. These are not too relevant from my point of view, but yeah, it's good also to test them and see what they are doing. So in here I've tested the, the GT metrics one and you see for the desktop you have under one second performance uh, everywhere. The A grade it's 100% uh, without any any Caching plugin on any performance uh, performance con configurations. These tests are done from Canada, the default one for GT metrics. You see here that the uh, uh, largest content paint loaded in under a second, 700 milliseconds. Okay, the well, speed test is not that relevant. Basically, it provided similar results across all the all the the test about 92 for everyone i will uh, i will let the picture in, in the article you can check the video description and go and check them we're gonna only check the gt metric score for everything to see how it's how it's doing for digital version and the, the imd server in here you see like it's about one second everywhere you have the grade but you have 96 percent and Large, largest content full paint, it is 1.1 sec, 1.1 seconds. Same for Intel, it's 
1.1 seconds. Okay, for the Vulture AMD, in here you have a very good speed, it's compared with the AMD one that we have on Hesner, you have the 7, uh, 700 milliseconds a load and everything is loaded in, um, in, uh, yeah, in under 1, one seconds. Very good notes. In here we have the Intel High Performance one. Again, it's similar with what we've seen in the AMD one. Very good speeds. And here is the most powerful one. This one is the uh, is the high high frequency one from uh, from Hesner. You see in here like you have green everywhere, and it is the fastest one out out there. You see every. Everything is loading very fast. So yeah, these are these are the results in, in this table. You can find all of this, put it so we can easily compare them. And yeah, I have also the price. Another test that I have done is to to test a Hasner AMD for CPU eight gigabytes round one that cost about uh, 15, 16 uh, sixteen dollars. In here you see that I've created one in. This one, if you do add a server, I'll go into Ashburn, I'm creating the same data center. If you go and check it, what this thing has, it has uh, about, uh, it has about four OMD CPUs, a gigabyte of RAM, and 100 gigabytes of, uh, of disk space. I wanted to test also this because it's uh, about the price points that the other have. And for instance, uh, I wanted to see if it has like a big difference in the first two tests and I did first two tests for, for this thing you can find it at, at the end in here so in here you can you can see that I have I have done the apps test and in here you see like the read and write it's it's similar with what we have seen in the in the in the other one the the two CPU one for Hasner you see here the speed it's quite good it's one gigabytes of speed for everything and in here you should like the cpu you see like the single like the single one it's similar with what we've seen in the other one but the multi-core it will um, it will be better that one we see for the dual core it's not is not let's say uh, four times but uh, it's it's about uh, three thousand points and you, in here you see like the, the best one from Vulture, it's only offered 2,165. And then I've installed the plugin, the Vengmar plugin. And in here, we didn't do a very good job, mostly because of the CPU and the memory. In here, you see like it doesn't uh, pass the eight grade. I guess this is because the low speed and the fact that it's AMD, then you have the read and write that is the same as the other one. For the database, again, it didn't do uh, that, it didn't go the, the, the same as the one from Vulture, and the grade was 8.8. .8. But yeah, imagine that with this, uh, you have uh, like multiple cores that can, uh, can uh, spread the load in case you have a lot of sessions there, you have more uh, memory, and uh, you have or this space for, for this one. Thanks for sticking to, to the end and to conclude everything that we've just uh, seen so far. If you are looking for the best uh, GPS server in this price point with two CPUs, then uh, I think uh, Vulture with the high uh, frequency one, it's the best one. It offers the, the, best, uh, the best course out there. Then if you are looking for a budget-friendly alternative, then Hesnet is the one uh, for you. I am using it to host all my uh, WordPress websites and uh, it didn't let, let me down. Thanks for uh, watching the video. In case you enjoy the, the video, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. The cat stick to the end and help me with this review. So. Hit the like button for, for the cat. Thanks and see you next time.